ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Game Muscle Videos, where we today are checking out the latest update to New Retro Arcade in the form of light gun support. And uh, to test it out, we've got Point Blank 2, which, of course, as everyone knows, is the best light gun game made by man. I mean, there's Time Crisis, House of the Dead, and what have you, but forget all them. Point Blank is where it's at, and anyone that's into their light gun games knows that that's the case. Now, personally, I'm a massive fan of light gun games, and I, I even used to play Aim for Cash, which is a, a sort of cash a cash prize version of Point Blank. Uh, and I used to make about £100 or so a month playing it until the arcade removed it, because uh, I assumed they weren't making any money from it as I was emptying it all the time. So I thought it'd be interesting, as a light gun fan, to sort of talk about the implementation of the light gun in new retro arcade neon, uh, and say how it works and how it doesn't work. Now, the first thing you notice is that, well, the Vive controller tracking is absolutely superb. It really is one-to-one. -one. But unfortunately, um, unfortunately, the game, and I'm not sure if this is new, new retro arcade neon or if it's the emulator, but the game has smoothing on it. So, even though it's pinpoint accurate, you'll notice there's a slight delay, especially if you do light gun shooting, you're going from one side of the screen to the other, you, you rotate your wrist to do it really quickly rather than moving like this. And uh, you'll notice the cursor is, it just lags a little bit behind. It's, it's equivalent if you were playing an FPS on a, on a normal screen and you had something like um, V-Sync running or something. It's that kind of a delay. Um, you're not going to notice it unless you're, you, you know, ridiculously anal about light gun games. Of course, you'll also notice on the screen, there's a there's the cursor or the crosshair for where we're aiming, which of course is not in the uh, the real point blank. So uh, I know that's possible to remove. There are main versions that do remove this, uh, the, the crosshair. Um, and I would have thought the smoothing, I think it's coming from New Retro Arcade. I think the smoothing can be removed as well. We've just got to shoot the one target here. Uh, so if they can fix the smoothing, then <laughs> it's literally perfect. Um, there, there have been light gun, for us fans of light gun games, there have been options, for example, there's been infrared controllers that you can place around your screen and it kind of operates like a Wii controller, but that always comes out of sync and it's just not accurate. Um, there was the last good home light gun game, I think was essentially Time Crisis and Point Blank uh, as a Namco version for the PlayStation 2. And you had to have a CRT screen. After that, it's all been downhill and terrible. And, th and this is this is um, just amazing. And it's I would say it's actually better than playing on a CRT screen at home with any of those setups. Surprisingly, the um, the Vive controller actually feels very natural and very much like holding a light gun, uh, the, the Namco light gun. Although the the angle is different and the, the weight's not too far off, and it doesn't have the clicky top on it. The general nature of how you hold it, how you can do the, the finger, fast firing finger action that you do in the arcade, all is pretty much there. Just, just this uh, delay makes uh, snap aiming a little bit harder. Because when you get really good at light gun games, you, you're not really aiming. You just point, and the you know the, the bullets go where you want them to, sort of thing. And with with this delay, I'm having to aim using the crosshair and sort of wait a little bit. But uh, unbelievable! I, I've been playing this for hours now on this arcade. And what's really strange is because you know I've play, played this so much in reality in an arcade setting. When you load it into this, you completely forget that you're in VR and there's an arcade machine to the right there and I've been playing this and I'm like I'd have an arcade machine in my room oh no actually I'm in virtual reality <laughs> it's absolutely incredible oh missed it some of these levels are bloody tricky spot the difference oh no I think we're losing lives every time we make a mistake oh dear so I think we've lost like five lives there. Failed. 14 differences. Some of the point blank levels are really, 
<laughs> all the mistakes. Some of the levels are so hard because they not only punish you for failing the level, let's put some more money in, 50p gone, they not only punish you for failing the level, but if you make a mistake like shooting civilians, you also you also get punished by life, but fortunately it don't cost any money to keep pushing the button to add in more credits. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> Look at these next generation 3D graphics. And that's another thing actually. That's another thing you notice playing new retro arcade is that because the arcade games themselves tend to use a lot of pixel art and low res graphics and you're playing these games at, uh, within sort of a meter of yourself in virtual reality the actual screen quality and end result is as good as it would have been in reality if not if not better so it doesn't suffer from some of the uh, the, the resolution issues that some games have in virtual reality Another spammy one. I love the spammy ones. It's all about this finger technique. You've got to hold your arm out. You've also got to stick your tongue out as you fire. And then everyone in the arcade is wondering if you're breaking the arcade game. But this is how it's done. Shoot those aeroplanes. This is just uh, intermediate. This isn't the hardest setting. It gets absolutely bananas. What we've got is saying, shoot the uh, skeletons. But I just love how you can apply the same techniques. So as I say, you've got the tilt that you do to get fast targets, but also then just moving around and then the old technique of sticking the gun right up against the glass. You can actually stick it through the glass in this case for the for the single shot missions where you've just got one target to shoot. Oh no, I'm terrible. I need to practice this. But this, this to me, oh, so what am I doing? It's the talking and play at the same time. This to me is the ultimate Christmas present. I mean, anyone that likes point blank and light gun games, um, VR, <laughs> it's your only choice now. It's just, it's just unbelievable. And I think that's the thing with VR. We've seen so far, oh, I've run out of money. Let's put some money in with my other controller. There we go. That's the thing with VR. Um, so far, I think the, the two things that are completely justify it uh, and it works 100% perfect and uh, if you're a fan of these already is driving simulators, flight simulators and now if you like these arcade light gun games you, <laughs> there's no other way to access them so VR is, is the only way to go that's uh, totally a, a way to justify spending uh, £1,500 it costs to get into VR Final stage, and then we're done. Oh, that's another thing. They need to. There's a bit of default recoil. It's not. It's only tiny, but I'd, that'd be nice if New Retro Arcade could remove that as well because it it's slightly off. Um, in the with the real gun and the Namco light gun, there's no recoil, you're holding it, it's such a light click, there's no recoil, and also as a cheat people, you would hold the top so it didn't click at all, um, and then you could just spam away, and they, you know, it wouldn't recoil at all, but if I hold this totally steady, you see it's got like a baked in recoil as part of the animation of the uh, the 3D model, which, uh, they need to get rid of that, that's, that's, not, that's not what happens with the real thing, but, as I say, this isn't just point blank, um, this is any light gun game. There's a list of light gun games that they currently support. Uh, Time Crisis, uh, I'm not sure if all the Time Crisis, but at least one or two of them are supported. I think House of Dead is supported. Area 51 uh, is supported. So the list is ever growing. And basically, it'll be whatever can be emulated on MAME will now work in uh, New Retro Arcade. There's some fiddling you have to do with the uh, getting the. Uh, aiming reticle to line up and the and the uh, values for the screen size to all line up um, but it's not that bad to be honest and people have started to put uh, zipped files up that you can just stick in so you don't really have to fiddle around uh, so but check it out in the um, description I'll put a link to the game and I'll also put a link to uh, one of the pre-done ROM collections in the in the description so you can check it out without fiddling if this is the kind of thing that interests you if you did enjoy this video though don't forget to, uh, or you can also float around. It's like I'm on rollerblades in the arcade here, and you can teleport. <laughs> Let's go and play some Quasar. I think that's coming. That's coming soon. 
Oh dear, it's too much excitement to be had in your retro arcade. Um, yes, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Don't forget to like it. Drop any questions in the comments. But oh dear, it's, it's literally just gone back to the 90s. And uh, who needs reality anymore when you can throw beer cans at bowling pins? We missed there. Oh, oh yes, we got one. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video that we do. Uh, I don't even know if I've been on camera for that video, but hopefully I was. Until the next one, thanks for watching, and goodbye.